Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are presented by the Hula Bowl. Today's interview is sponsored by Malky Law Firm, uh, who specialize in automotive accidents, having offices in St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay, servicing throughout Florida. Contact them today for a free consultation at 877-THE-FIRM or at their website uh, at uh, thecaraccidentfirm.com. Today I have with me uh, Joey Kenny. Uh, he's a fullback out of Rhode Island. Uh, how you doing today, man? Good. How are you? It's an honor to be here. Hey, man. Nice to have you on. I mean, nice to have a a, a, a bruising fullback on here. I mean, you gotta love your fullback. So mm -hmm. um, appreciate you uh, you on here as well. So um, why don't you go ahead? Give me like a brief history of of you and your career, if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. So I. Um... Grew up in Wayne. I went to Wayne Hills High School in New Jersey, uh, same uh, high school as Greg Olson. I got to Rhode Island in 2016. I played for three and a half years, and then I actually got hurt. And then um, due to COVID, I'm still playing. And um, so five years into it, I finally finished my last year at Rhode Island. Nice. So, I mean, obviously, um, one of the things you got going for you, man, is you have this uh, – Amazing amount of experience. I mean, I want to say you have upwards to like 50 starts or something crazy like that, which I think is awesome. Um, and also being named, at least in my notes, and correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, two-time first-team all-conference, right? Yep, two first-team uh, all-conference. And then I played uh, – I started 51 games for Rhode Island. So, yeah. Sure. 51 games. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Um, so um, – Tell me a little bit about how, what you feel is like the best thing that you bring to the table as an NFL prospect. I would say the biggest thing I bring is definitely hitting people. I'm, um, that's my specialty. That's what I like the best. Um, I could catch the ball too if I needed to, but for me, it's definitely hitting people. It's one of the most fun things I can do. Yeah, I mean, definitely when you have a guy who's, you know, your frame, you know, uh, about 260-pound dude, just kind of – barreling down i mean you definitely don't you definitely don't want to be in his way so i mean you know you're paving the way for uh you know your running backs also helping to block for your uh you know quarterback so uh really uh paving the way for other uh for for other teammates to really do some excellent things out there so um pullback is definitely like an unselfish position wouldn't you say yeah, I don't really get the ball. I don't really score much. Um, I like when my teammates score. That gives me the most satisfaction. Great, great. Well, I mean, obviously. Um, so uh, what do you feel is like, um, I don't know, when you look at somebody perhaps like in the league, like who are the guys that you're looking at that you, you know, try to model yourself after or maybe even compare yourself to or even being a fan of? You know, for me, it was definitely, you know, I know he retired, but it was James Devlin my whole life. I tried to mimic everything he did in college. I love the way he played. I love the way he hit people. And that's type, you know, I have a neck bolt too, so that's the type of thing that I always wanted to mimic. <laughs> yeah, you got that big neck thing going on, which is, yeah. I, I think that's that's just kind of neat to have. I mean, um, the other thing too that, you know, fullbacks tend to offer is a lot of special teams, uh, you know, uh, just being out there, um, you know, on all, really all of those units. So uh, can you maybe enlighten me a little bit about your experience there? Yeah, of course. So I actually started kick return and punt for the past five years in Rhode Island. Um, and it jump starts me to play well at the fullback position because that first hit on kick return is the biggest one usually. Um, and then punt, I was a shield. So I usually got the brunt force of somebody else's full speed coming at me. And it was something that, you know, most people don't enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I would laugh. I would, you know, have fun with it. Nice. I mean, obviously a guy who um, doesn't shy away at all from contact, a guy who's going to, you know, be punching you in the mouth for sure. So um, uh, let's kind of, you know, work our way towards, you know, you on the football field. Talk to me a little bit about um, maybe like your weekly game prep. Um, uh, go ahead and just kind of give me some sort of a, uh, an idea of what you're doing on a regular basis as you're preparing for an opponent? Oh, of course. So usually it starts out with our tight end meetings, the tight end pullback meetings. We have, you know, a weekly basis, 5 p.m. Our coach used to make us go into uh, meetings every day. Um, then Fridays, you know, you have that walkthrough. You get really pumped up for the game on the next day. Um, during the week, you know, we had one full pad practice on Tuesdays. You know, you really get your hitting out then. 
um, Wednesdays and Thursdays are more of like, you know, polishing up everything. And um, Wednesdays you hit a little bit, but you're mostly polishing things, you know, not trying to do too much, but you know, um, what I would do is, you know, I would hit people on Tuesday and then Wednesday or Thursday, you kind of settle down and just make sure you're doing everything right for, you know, make sure you have no MAs on Saturdays. Gotcha. And I mean, also, uh, you got to put in the work in the weight room, which I'm sure you've done. So um, talk to me just briefly about you in the weight room and maybe even your favorite lift. So Sundays and Wednesdays, we lift it as a team. Um, my favorite lift is benching. I love to bench. I think it's my favorite thing to do. Um, I love doing upper body, but I also like doing lower body. It got me my legs back. Um, so yeah, I'd say bench. Awesome, awesome. So I mean, definitely, you know, one of those exercises that whenever the combine comes around, I mean, people are gonna, you know, be putting you to the test there. Have you put yourself to the test on that 225 yet? Yeah, so the last time I uh, benched 225, I actually got uh, 25 reps, um, and that was uh, during season. So um, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna try to get it you know, 30. Awesome. Well, I mean, obviously when you're looking at a, a player that 25 to 30 range obviously is, um, is key. So, I mean, you've been able to do that, which is really nice. Um, why don't we go ahead and just kind of um, talk about maybe what you feel has been like, you know, some of your best moments, you know, some of the best highlights of your career. Um, are there any plays that just kind of stick out in your memory? Yeah, so actually, I would probably say um, in 2018, I, uh, we were playing against Harvard at the Coliseum, um, and I remember scoring a touchdown, and we got the lead, and we ended up winning that game. And that moment, that was my first touchdown as a uh, Rhode Island Ram. So uh, that was like probably my best moment of college, just, you know, the fact that we won, and I um, ended up scoring a touchdown. I had three other catches. Awesome. So, I mean, obviously, uh, again, like we've already mentioned, I mean, you're usually out there, you know, punching people in the mouth, blocking for people. So when you do get the ball in your hands, it's a special thing. And being able to get into the end zone, definitely a plus. So I uh, love it. Um, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people over the years have just kind of poured their um, – poured into you a little bit, you know, it, you know, helping to create you into the person and player that you are. Um, can you maybe ch chat with me just a little bit about uh, one of those coaches, maybe one of the one of the best lessons you've ever learned from a coach, whether it be from high school or there at Rhode Island? I would say um, the, the one coach that uh, impacted me the most from high school was my head coach, Wayne Demikoff, and then from college, it was Mike Fanagan. They both taught me, you know, never give up and um, always, no matter what you're going through, persevere through it. And uh, I just always took those lessons and, you know, it became a better, like, man and a player. Yeah, I mean, definitely a guy who's persevered through a lot, uh, you know, over his career there at Rhode Island. Um, so uh, been through a lot, but, you know, been obviously a very experienced guy, um, which is great. So um, let's just kind of take a second, um, step off of the football field a little bit. I kind of want to meet who this uh, Joey Kenny guy is outside of a football player. So uh, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, something interesting, something fun, hobbies, interests, or what have you. Go for it. So I would say that my uh, whole life is a fun fact. I've golfed, and uh, usually guys my size don't really golf. And I've um, done that since I was about 12. You know, when I'm on the football field that Sunday when we're off, usually I'm golfing, especially if there's nice weather. Um, also, I tried, you know, I used to be a good ping pong player. That was pretty fun. Um I kind of stopped that over the years. You know, I don't really have time to play ping pong anymore. But those two things are probably great hobbies. And then also I'm going to try to be a, um, a police officer when I'm done uh, playing football. Um, I've interned. I've uh, done all those things. I have a criminal justice degree. So that's another fact. Interesting. And at least per my notes, you're a New Jersey kid, right? Yep. We so, New Jersey. Uh, so tell me a little, bit, a little bit about your hometown. Like if I were to come visit you in New Jersey, where, where would we have to go? What would we have to do? I'd say we have to have dinner at Positano. They, um, they have the best Italian food that I know. And then also, you know, our, our high school, Greg Olson went there. So, you know, he's got a lot of you know, photos there and everything, you know, accolades that are there. So that'd be pretty cool for you to see as well. Um, and we have a big um, high school football, like a, we're a big high school football team. So, you know, a lot of tradition tradition there. Um, yeah. Awesome. I mean, obviously, um, you know, a, a guy that, uh, 
you know, comes from a, a, a really big tradition there, you know, from your high school. I had a lot of great moments there at Rhode Island. Uh, we're going to have you come down to Orlando. The game this year is in Orlando for the Hula Bowl. So um, uh, it'll be fun to have you down there. Uh, I want to I want to give you the opportunity really just to um, uh, address some scouts that, um, you know, you might actually get a chance to talk to there, or maybe you've uh, heard from them uh, before. Um, so why don't you go ahead and just kind of give them your pitch as to maybe why they need to pay attention to you and give you that opportunity at the next level. I think that they should give me, you know, a chance just because, you know, I, I don't think uh, I'm, probably going to be one of the hardest hitters there. And I think that's something that you, they should definitely look at. Um, for being 265, I am pretty fast. Um, also, I'm smart, so I can see all the, you know, everything we have in meetings. I could figure out those plays. But most importantly, I know they're going to like it when they see me hit. That's one of the biggest things. Well, definitely. It'll be a lot of fun to, you know, watch you down there. I mean, um, it, it's been great sitting sitting and talking to you, Joey. I do wish you best of luck. Um, is there some place right now where you're training, you know, that you're trying to uh, get yourself prepared for uh, for our game and beyond? Yeah, of course. So right now I'm training at XL Sports in Fairfield, New Jersey. My trainer's name is uh, Don Soleri. He's worked with me for the past seven years. Um, I'm really confident in what he could do and how he can develop me in the next, you know, month or two for those, you know, pro days, combines, and the game. So he's really a great trainer, and I'm looking forward to keep working with him. Nice. Uh, well, uh, again, uh, you could see Joey Kinney uh, at the 2022 Hula Bowl on January 15th, um, among a, a lot of other great athletes. Uh, make sure to get your tickets at uh, Ticketmaster.com. Again, this interview is sponsored by Malky Law Firm. Uh, thanks again, uh, Joey, for this interview, all right? Oh, it was an honor being here. Thank you. All right. You're welcome, buddy. A, a, a big mahalo for watching and uh, have a blessed day.